Got to get the PS5 Shit. fired up. Yeah, I got to get... Yeah, and it's going to be, be so not the best experience. Seth has to go buy a PlayStation 5 finally? Nah. What? I have yours. No, I need it. Uh, what the fuck am I going to play? You got huh. two, right? Yeah, but... Tough luck, lives? pal. Tough Damn. luck, pal. Tough luck, buddy. <laughs> Dude, I know where you live. I know the code to get in here. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome, 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 ladies and gentlemen, to episode number 137 of the Optic Podcast. This episode is brought to you by Rocket Money, USAA, and Dairy Max. And later USAA. On, later on in the podcast, <laughs> Mr. Scumper Jumper will let you know a little bit more about them. Or Hitch or someone. I did them last time. Someone will. We launched... Wait. <laughs> Let's uh, we, we should we should yeah Mark you've never done an ad read maybe it's your maybe it's your time <laughs> maybe it's maybe. your time to step up to the plate man. maybe mm. maybe <laughs> <laughs> uh, Hitch Hitch brought in his new dog Mace Windu mm -hmm. Fuck, uh, the the upon what what kind of dog is he let's start a there. greyhound a greyhound mm -hmm. a literal greyhound I saw him and I and I and I touched him I've never touched one of your kind before that per that that dog I was gonna say person that dog is built for fucking speed yeah if you see him like he's a fucking bullet he's a bullet yeah, yeah. a they, bullet it's funny because like learning about greyhounds is crazy because their their average like like um body fat yeah. percentage is like seven percent so like you yeah no not like me yeah. Like set like it's no, nothing but muscle and bones. Yeah, and they those dogs like they they race for a minute and then they sleep for seventeen hours. Like yeah. that's what those dogs do. So this one too. Yeah. Where, where, where do you uh, let them like release energy? Um, I mean, he doesn't need to release a ton of energy. Yeah. Um, that's what they warned us about. Is like especially during the the summer days, yeah, here. Course. Like don't don't let they him don't go sweat. around. Don't let him go Bless around you. a park Ooh, or anything. Thanks. Bless you. No. Um. But eventually, yeah, eventually when it cools down, I'm going to try to go to like a, some sort of dog park or somewhere and just let them go what and watch. What a cool... Yo, let me know when you do that. We'll take all the dogs. Maybe we'll rent like a big ass field. Okay. And obviously... As long as it's like fenced in and stuff. Yeah, as like, long as yeah. fenced in because you're not catching that. You know, I'm not catching. No shot I'm catching. First thing him. I say to him, like he ain't faster than, than Henry. <laughs> what's his backstory? <laughs> yeah, what's his backstory? Uh, so he was a racer. He was a racing dog in uh, Australia for a casino. And um, so you go in, you bet on the dogs. And uh, he won like he won two races, and his dad is like a legend. Yeah. His dad won like like seven hundred grand of races in in dog dog races back in the day. So here's the dog. Thanks, Matt. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Good stuff, Matt. Yeah, yeah, Matt's laughing over there. He's on Matt, today. You can't wear those headsets around here. You know that, man. What's up? What's going on, man? Leave Matt Craig also, alone. Man. Oh, what's your microphone, Listen, Matt? Like Fire. last week, we had questions for you, and you didn't have your mic on. Next week, he's yeah. been saying that for three years. Three years. <laughs> um, <laughs> excited stuff. So, so you you got him out of a shelter? Like, how did you? Yeah, there's an organization here uh, called Galt uh, Greyhound, and then that's what the G. Stand, I don't know what the rest stands okay. for, but yeah, they uh, they're really good about getting getting uh, dogs in from Australia and Ireland because mm -hmm. all the all the uh, places have shut down in America, so no more greyhound races in in the United States. Wow, uh, COVID just killed it. Uh, Literally just killed it. Yeah. Um, Damn. But in Ireland and in Australia and other places England. overseas, yeah, there's still a lot. So Matt, look up the greyhound named Optichex in the meantime. Bro, your dogs took the fattest shit in the world. Told no. you. What are you no. serious? Go. Yeah, I got, I got. What I tell Wait, you? Wait, did you no record way. it? No way. Why? Because I, I, I was about to throw up. I want to get rid of it. Oh. Oh my God. Are you <laughs> fucking serious? Nice. Mace window taking a shit everywhere. Told you. You were you were right. No. Wait. Why did you not take him? Did you not I told him he's sniffing walked, a little too much I, for my liking. No, I walked in this morning. <laughs> he should start sniffing. Oh my God. I smell it. I think. <laughs> no shot. He took a shit. That's so funny. He looked like he was stressed out. Looked like he had one in him. Yeah. I mean, he's he's definitely he skittish. Oh yeah. He's just walking around, looking out the window, sniffing. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, he knew he was. He knew. He knew he was supposed to go out there, but he's two stories up. He looked out and said, "Man, I wish I was right next to that fucking oh yeah forklift." Too funny. Next best place, Roger's office. <laughs> At least it was solid. Yeah, because it wasn't solid you, this you, morning. What, what do you feed him? <laughs> Farmer's dog. Um, 
I can't remember. It's like the the whatever brand the 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 foster. To, to, what? Whatever foster the foster parent was feeding them, they gave me that. Uh, actually, Campbell? because it's an Campbell? athlete, oh, I think yeah. it's like a, the Campbell. Amazon brand. Good I can't remember. Fashion. No, you can't give a dog processed bits food all bits, the time. You gotta, you, bits, you gotta, right there. Called. They misspelled optic, but we will forgive them. Optic Hex Greyhound profile. Wait, what is this? There's somebody a dog. named <laughs> somebody named a racing uh, oh. greyhound Optic Hex. Really? Look at that. Yeah. Does he have What's any wins? Record? All the greens win. All the greens are win. Damn. Oh, so uh, five wins. So five wins out of ten. Uh, okay. What I told what I told them is that you know obviously this is the thing. I, I don't go. I don't go to zoos. I don't go to aquariums. I don't go to like any of those because you know I, I feel like that's you know <laughs> I, I, although it is protecting you know the animals to, at some degree. I also you know I don't I don't like the way that mm -hmm. they're in, it's, just, it's my it's just my own my own thing. So I told them, I'm like if I can help in making this dog a, a better life, let me know. It's the only one dog that I would take in because we're not getting no more dogs. I told you no more fucking dogs. But you'll bring in Optic Hex. Uh, but, but yeah, when but Optic one, Hex is ready for. Ooh, that's good. When he retires, he's like, "Come live." That's with good. the pack. Sure. Hey, <laughs> that's dope. Mason yeah. and OG. You can call him OG and shit. Well, OG, optic, optic, Mace Windu and the optic pack. That's a I cool mean, name, shit, man. It was, it, it, I've I've had the name for ten years. It's a cool name. Like my what first was dog. his original Wait, name? What? Original name was. Uh, I can't remember his racing his racing name because they have like racing like names and like yeah like Sea Biscuit so yeah, type things. Uh, f almost five, so he's been. Yeah, so he got a new name, late as hell. Mm -hmm. Well, he he got a new name for his adoption, uh, like foster family as well. So that name was Maka. And that's like it means McDonald's in Australia. So, so he don't know Australia. what the hell's going on right now. He's nah, he's like, gonna hey, hey. it's gonna be a little bit of an adjusting period for yeah, sure. Just he just look, took a shit in Roger's office, yeah. so he's still adjusting. <laughs> never never call his name when you're disciplining him. Only his own, like yeah, yeah. Only his name when it's positive enforcement. Yep. Don't no 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 fucking Henry. Henry you know don't really, mm -hmm. yeah, I saw Henry. He don't respect you. What the fuck were you talking about? Yeah, I saw. Dude. Oh, you it, call him, he looks at you and just goes in the house. No, shit. He, they, hey, listen, if, if Henry gets near me or the table where I'm meeting at, all I got to do is this. And he's like, oh, shit. And then he fucking walks away. But yeah, I think uh, another, another, the optic dog pack keeps getting bigger. Your cats are not an optic. And neither is my turtle. So I think we're fair. You know there. what? Do you have a turtle? No. You want to know something about those cats? What? They don't give a fuck yeah, yeah, about what you think, cats. about what anybody thinks. What you think? Oh, they care what I no, think. No, they don't. Oh. They run away from you nonstop. No, they don't. How many times has has Matt let out? What's what's the name of the cat that you let oh, out? Oh, Bink Bink, Bink Bink. Yeah, Binky. Matt Craig has a a running track record of letting out Binks. Really? Oh hmm. yeah, multiple times. Like he just don't comes show. over and just lets him out. Yep. Uh, it's fucking gone. This fucking cats can't wait to get the fuck away from him. <laughs> nah, he always comes back. Yeah, he goes outside, sniffs a little bit, and then he, he doesn't want to be out there. No. He knows the life of luxury he lives. Yes, he does. <laughs> yes, he does. He loves it. He loves it. <laughs> How's uh, your little one? Gwen? Great. Yeah, excellent. She, beautiful dog. Yeah, still biting, but mm. still teething They don't know how to hug. Bit. They got to bite or lean against you. Yeah, I don't like I don't like when she bites me. I uh, just say no and push her off. You should see what And I'm then really she thinking. comes back, and then I say no again and push her off. Yeah. Try to give her a bone or something. <laughs> I can't believe the dog took a shit in Roger's office. I just left. That's so funny. It's okay. I wonder if like that is so funny. The, the poop when he poops when you see him, are they are they fast looking poops or are they like sizable poops? There's some big boys. So I can recognize I can recognize who shit it where in the backyard. <laughs> well, you have dogs of all different sizes. I can tell which ones are Henry's. <laughs> yeah, duh. I'll, I'll, I'll tell imagine. you that. Yeah, hell yeah. I right, can imagine. Right there. One of them right here, boom. <laughs> That's gross. Damn. What? Easy to pick up. Mm -mm. All Ooh. right, so uh, Optic Nation. Good release. Well, let's get on the on, on flow state. I don't want to talk about idiots yet. Or right, Optic, great success. Yeah. <laughs> right. I don't want to talk about idiots yet. I want to. I want to know what the king's been up to. He's got. What, what are you up to, and what are you gonna be up to? I just been streaming. Doing my thing. Had a sponsor stream yesterday. It was great. Yeah. Yeah. And tomorrow I leave for Florida. There we go. That's where what we're going Four days. Dude, man, man, people are on my ass, though. I was. I told my stream yesterday. I'm like, yeah, I'm, I'm leaving to go to Florida for four days to see my mom. And they're like, part-timer. I'm like, dude, like, I have to live my life 
at some point. Let the record show. I said go for a fucking a full week. Four days? Four days. Leave Four days Thursday. Is nothing. Leave Thursday, fly back Sunday night. So you're only there for two days. Because the, the Well no, we'll be there all Thursday, all Friday, all Saturday, and then like Sunday afternoon and then flight at like It's not enough, man. You, two you days. deserve more, man. That's two days with Not a according to my stream. They all they, they, they don't know they're shit. They're teasing. No, they're teasing you. They're part time. Nah, I don't know. <laughs> so no, I don't like, know if they're teasing. Some of the me. shit they say cut deep. No, they just call me a part timer. And I always say they don't see whenever we do content, like they don't see. He's also a part timer for content, ladies and gentlemen. He's so two part times equal one full time. That's right. Show. Which is bang. still yeah, bang. Bang bang. I think uh, I think it's what you've been up to, man. How's how's how New sure. Jersey, dude? You went out of nowhere. We, didn't we talk about two weeks ago? Did we, I don't think we talked about what you did. I did what did I do? Oh I, shit! I was just visiting my family, chilling. Wait, both your families, your family, your mom, and then the family that you don't talk about. Yeah, bro, you gotta stop doing. This. <laughs> oh, they're like he keeps putting false. He's in got my... two. He's got two babies. No, <laughs> no what? Dude, what? he's got a two and a half. You His name is Junior. I don't. Junior the second because you're a junior, and then he's got a he's got a cute baby girl who's like nine bro, months. Bro, stop. <laughs> <laughs> You're wildin', bro. That's not true. Let this issue, this issue with the to baby mama it. right now. That's why we don't <laughs> talk about it publicly. He is insane today. He's, wild, no, he's, he's crazy insane today. today. Uh, Yo, I, I, itchy. Haven't, I, I haven't had the, the Mace my medicine got that yet. shit. Huh? I said I'm mad itchy. Mace got that shit. He, he's got that. Dandruff. You smoke before? Is Me? Nah. I don't I, believe. I've been, here, I've been here. I yeah, got up at five. Bit. I don't a, believe you. I got up at five thirty. You got some new good news? What happened today? Something happened. Some some good must. Just so say things are going my way lately. Dude, that's the, I know. But 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 I know I have not smoked today. You know I'm proud. I, I'm, I'm proud cannabis user. Not here in Texas, obviously, but when I go to LA, <laughs> I, I'm I'm a very happy user, and I wouldn't I wouldn't lie about that. I'm on camera. This is the thing. When I say I'm not, I'm not. Period. Mm -hmm. I'm not. I wish I was. So what else did you do besides buy Similac and, and, and diapers, <laughs> some Pampers? <laughs> not, not shit. It was so, boring as hell. So you just went for the... Yeah, good times. Visit a friend? drinks. Go to the beach bar a little bit. Okay. Vibe out. Sure. That no. sounds nice. How's mom's? Doing good. Yeah? Good. It, was, it was a nice time. Oh, yeah, Zen yeah. was like, oh my god, I can't believe you're there. Like he that's his spot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, yeah. Zen's home right now, isn't he? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, Zen Zen Zen's been going. He's just the second time Zen's been yeah, home. Yeah, right. Talk, talk about he takes part -time. more vacations than you. Yeah, talk He's, about part time. Talk about part time. Yeah, but he, he can stream on his, so it's like it's a little different. Because like there I don't have a setup right. Yeah. And I wouldn't stream there anyway. I'm there I'm there to visit family. Fucking mm. Zinny streaming <laughs> streaming free content and shit. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> He's not. A, he's not the brightest of the bunch. Oh man, he's, he just saw like free content handsome. for his stream. He's like, oh, I, <laughs> right. I can watch this. I can watch it all. <laughs> Hell yeah, let me just <laughs> guys so, check it so out. To me, it's that, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, <laughs> no, it, uh, look, uh, I think we launched with three, uh, three new shows, but there's more coming. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm processed. Is I like, I like, uh, I watched it. I like what you guys are doing. I think it's, it's. It's educational, which is like more than anything, because a lot of people who are currently looking to get into esports no, don't necessarily know what approach. Uh, and f you know, when when you see what sort of discipline it takes to uh, organize all of the footage, hours and hours and hours of footage, and then find a music uh, a, a soundtrack that's gonna look good for that one episode, plus like what it takes to shoot the actual thing. Like I think it's 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 good educational. Uh, thing right there like I didn't know that wearing colors on stage is a no-no and that you always have to wear black so that you can be like in the in the foreground or something like invisible almost I didn't know that just so your eye doesn't catch it yeah he's like do you win red dog I didn't always wear black but I never wore bright red that shit was crazy yeah I mean bright bright red's insane that's insane <laughs> And it's funny I never I, noticed him you didn't you didn't you don't notice it unless you are behind like, the we camera won if you wouldn't have been wearing yeah. red <laughs> It was distracting. You know what I'm saying? Oh yeah, we did win. We would have won. We, we, we would have. You know what I'm saying? We did win. Yeah. yeah, yeah. It's not would have. We we won that one. That's right. That yes, we did. One. Yes, we did. <laughs> like we did. We we won. I didn't know we which, won which, won. which. To be fair, I didn't know what episode. Oh, I guess we were celebrating on stage. What the mm -hmm. fuck am I talking about? Yeah. So yeah. I didn't watch it. 
Um, I'm kidding. <laughs> uh, we have raw interviews, which is good. I, yeah. I I have to review some of these to make sure that we're not going above and beyond and showing the, our real intrusive the real thoughts get out there. You know, we've had enough of that. Idiots. Uh, Idiots is dope. Thank yeah. you, man. Sick. I fuck with it. Yeah, yeah. It's it's sick. Sick. I love that type of I love that type of show. Like Guy Fieri, <laughs> Diners, Drivings, and Dives. Mm. I mean, fuck, that's Anthony, delicious. Anthony Bourdain, rest in peace. But his his show. You know, I never watched it. I mean, I love I love that type of stuff. Travel, eat. It's very travel, like, eat and meet. It's good because it's Six like man, you could eat food. We, we were watching yesterday on stream, and uh, all all the whole season we watched the whole season on stream, and um, <laughs> <laughs> even the uncut episodes. <laughs> and uh, Blake was like, "I like this because like this is like one thing I could show to my wife, and like we could watch it because like they, a lot of people like his wife don't care about yeah gaming, you know. Yeah, but, not like, watching that's, the grind of diamond on apex no she's not no, no or unprocessed she didn't care about unprocessed no but she'd watch some food food People though eat some food everyone yes, likes food. everyone talking was eat. torture watching that by the way i'm eight months in yeah oh you were just f just what? there was one part where like you you pulled up some like it was meat with cheese hanging oh, off of it no. and just put it in the taco and oh. i was like Dog, I was like, I was, it was torture. Especially because you really like Mexican food too. Yeah. And I that's love, from Me like literal Mexican. And it's, well, it's, oh, cheese, I'm and it's cheese and meat. Oh. And I'm not eating either one of those things. It's a good combo. And I'm just like, <laughs> <laughs> uh, Mago. Did you like it? Mago sounds fire. Mago. Mago. Dude, their guac, they did something to it. MSG sprinkled on top. They did <laughs> something to that guac, dude. That when place. You, where, where, are you going, where are you going next for season two? Uh, Chicago. LA? Okay, Chicago, yeah. Yeah, so for the next season, uh, be, so the reception was, well, like, good. I obviously hate everything that I do, so I, like, unless it's fucking yeah. a certain way. Um, but I was really nervous when we released it because, you know, we spent a lot of money on that on that show. Uh, and I wanted to make sure that it was like, you know, worth it. For, more importantly, that it was worth it for the people that were going to be paying additional cash. So I needed to I needed it to be Netflix level good, which is fucking really good for these guys, because that's that's what they fucking want to do more than anything. Um, so I, I, I thought it was good. I I, uh, I was nervous because if if it would have been me, Bose and, and, and you or me, Bose and, and, and Seth or me, Seth, is it, I mean, you name any anybody in Optic would have been like an easy like, oh, I'm going to watch this regardless because it's, it's yeah. Hex, Hex and the Boys. Mm -hmm. But I brought on two people who have, you know, one has been on TV, but, you know, Mike has never been on, on any social media. So to bring them along, uh, I, I thought it was it was a little bit nerve wracking for me because I didn't know whether or not they were gonna be good on camera or Mike at least was gonna be good on camera. And he opens up in the next couple episodes uh, too much, I think, in some cases, <laughs> uh, too comfortable. You know what I'm saying? But I don't know. I I, I I think I figured that for for season two and let you guys, I'd, I'd love to have your opinion on this because I'm not saying that Texas isn't big, but because Chicago is so diverse that and it's got world renowned like shit that they're known for. Yeah. Like if you go to anywhere in Dallas, you're like, what are they known for? Tex-Mex? Yeah. Barbecue? Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So I figured we would do a full season just in Chicago where episode one, it's like hot dogs only. Episode two is like the best burger spots, yeah. pizza spots. Yes. You know, gyros. Oh my God, the gyro culture there is fucking oh, yeah. for what sure. Now you're talking. Yeah, like one episode per, I like that. Per food item? And then you, it, you, you got to end the season with deep dish. Mm. Deep dish pizza, you like that shit? I hate well, that's it. Chica that's that's like Chicago's that. sh shit. It is, it is, it is, it is. It's like yeah, what Chicago is like, like yeah, known for. I like yeah. deep dish. Really? Uh, Jude loves. I yeah, I love how like, like with the doughiness. Oh, I love that shit. I, I don't fuck with it. it, it I kind of like. You bite it. down, it's like crunchy it. on the bottom, but the centers is uh, soft dough. Oh my. Okay, maybe now I want some. But see, put me on eating. But Chicago, yeah. So I figured by the time that we start traveling again for like for. Let's say it's Toronto, for example. Toronto has a really, really good culinary uh, experience, no matter where it is. So you go, New York is still obviously like <clears> to <throat> do, but like if 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 it's Toronto, for example, I think that since we're already going to be like filming idiots while we're there, I think that by the time you guys get there, you guys can be on. I'll let you guys be on one of the one of the episodes. Thank you. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Uh, but how, yeah, how, it was it was nerve wracking. Kind of? If I'm being honest, like it was it was one of those projects where I was just like, man, I mean, this is this is. I, I, I a lot nervous. of resources went in, so you wanted it to be yeah. a lot of time, energy. I think it, I think it's cool because like people watch it and they think like, where would I take where would I take Hector if he came to my state? 
I yeah. think that that's yeah, kind of yeah, cool too because yeah, yeah. I, I just like, thought about that. that me, great. Nick, and or me, uh, uh, Blake, and George were talking about like different places in North Carolina. Yeah, that, like maybe you, you would go, and I bet you like people probably think about that all the time. Yeah, when yeah, watch yeah. If people like were that. to come here, where would you take them? The Charles. Well, yeah, but like, give me like a few. Okay, the first thing, if you want Mexican, you are going to Doña Maria's. It's on Texas Instruments Boulevard, TI Boulevard, right across the street from the Texas uh, Instruments Building. The calculators. Yeah, the calculators. It, it is the best Mexican food, period, here in, the most authentic, for sure, here in Dallas. Uh, for barbecue, Goldie's. Um, we, didn't, we didn't cover a lot of these on, on, on the Dallas episode. Sushi Kinzo. S- Sushi Kinzo. Mm. Uh, I haven't tried we it went yet. Went back last night. I'm going back again tonight. Damn. Back. back. What time? <clears throat> oh, I can't do it tonight. I'm going to the Charles tonight. Eight fifteen tonight. 8:15. But it's a business dinner. It, yeah, yeah. Why is it so late? Why do you guys eat so late? <laughs> uh, the omakase, they're scheduled blocks. It's either like five thirty or eight fifteen. No, I would do five thirty for sure, so I can be in bed by eight thirty. You mm. know. Well, yeah. Uh, so, the, the the best restaurant to go to, like if you're gonna go on a date, it's it's uh, you, you, how expensive would you say the Charles is? Not, I've been to the Charles. not expensive like, enough because yeah, it's, the food you get there. When I looked at the menu, it wasn't too crazy. It'd probably be like two people, it's, 120 It's like $25 for a main pasta dish. All the apps are probably around like 20 bucks. But like the quality of the food compared to the oh, pricing yes. is like... Dude, that meatball was... Oh, my God. Bro, it, I started hard for bang for it. your buck, the Charles is, you, you've is never up there. Been? No, where is this? I don't what even know what y'all are talking about. Uh, Perry are, Hines or... I don't, it's in the arts Not district. Right there. Yeah, it's the arts dis- district from, from here. The, uh, Charles. the Charles would be would be good. I think for breakfast, I mean, it depends. Ask me a question. Breakfast, I'm going to tell you to go have the Huevos Rancheros over at the Omni. Texas Spice is the name of the restaurant. Um, Dog, bread, that was breadwinners, where... breadwinners down the street. Has, yeah, Breadwinners is fire. Has good migas. Um, I mean, I can What's give you all the spots. What's the place below the Statler, the breakfast spot? I forgot the name. That's a good spot, too. I don't know. I forgot the name. I think it's called Over Easy, maybe. Something like that. Yoke is is not. Nah, I mean, uh, the hole in the wall places. That's that's what it is. Uh, I bet we you cover. Still haven't had Fuel City Tacos. I have. I've had, I've had Fuel City Tacos. I've had everything around here. Omens already like went in and yeah. And, like, I go to Fuel City. Yeah, Fuel City is, is good, but it's not as good as uh, Insurgentes. That's fire. It's right right around the same area. Really? I think when by, by the time that episode five part one comes out, like you you you're gonna get an understanding of Dallas um, that you wouldn't think otherwise because there's crazy crazy fucking opportunities for you know food like that. Oh, so good. Crazy. Yeah. It was oh, really yeah. good. Was I so, love eating, man. No, yeah. that shit that that I looked like it. a lot of fun. It was the thing about it though is that we did we shot an entire season in seven days, right? So we went for Apostle one at one and a half, fucking yeah. San Antonio one and a half, Houston one and a half, Austin one and a half, Dallas. Those SD cards were on fire, huh? So those SD cards were smoking after. Yeah, yeah, that was good. <clears throat> also, it's like it's, to say that we shot that with like one person, like only one camera person was yep. was doing that. Uh, I think we did pretty, Damn, a pretty good real? job. Yeah, just mm-hmm. uh, Austin Cox. Just he Austin. did an excellent job. Um, yeah, once, once it came down to, to the editing, I had to step in a little bit. And, you know what I'm saying? Have to throw in my, my ADHD yep. for content. But yeah, do, you have any, do, do, do you have any Do you have any ideas for a show that you guys would like to do for Optic Nation? I'm doing a show for Optic Nation. Which one? It's the extension of the podcast I'm starting. Oh. Uh, the podcast is called Around the Bar, and I'm doing uh, an extension of it with every guest called behind the bar and uh we're gonna get like rapid fire questions and me myself and the guests that i'm interviewing are gonna take turns trying to sink uh a beer pong like uh like what is it seven cups or something no how many cups is it ten ten cups i think and then like however many shots it takes the two of us to complete it we write that down and everyone over the course of a season is competing and then the winner gets a trophy at oh, the end cool. of the season. So I like that. Love so it's kind of like a cool. rapid fire style interview slash extension of. What a about box. you, Seth? Seth by the pool? Huh? <clears throat> we should do a fishing show. You and me. You'd love that shit. You should come fishing too. I'd be down. I mean, what yeah. Would you, any, anything that you ever wanted uh, wanted to do, like show wise. I mean, if I wanted to do something, I'd do it for my own channels, mm. like something like that. Yeah, like what though? I don't know. It's nothing in your head. 
I mean, me and Zinni wanted to do a cooking thing, which that'd be good at my house. That'd be good. But you want to live stream it, though, right? Huh? You want to live stream it though? Right? That'd be funny as hell. Yeah, live stream it. That'd be probably, dope. probably live stream it and then just make it yeah. something. I like that. But for Optic I Nation, that. I mean, I don't know. What about you? I don't know. I'm not sure. Hotbox show. Yeah, dude, we should do a hotbox. That show would be fun. <laughs> Can't do it here. Can't do it here. You gotta no, fly to LA. Go to LA or, every episode, or, yeah. or Michigan or OKC is right up. Okay, the yeah, I was gonna say OKC's Oklahoma. Up. You cross that border, just pull off on the road. Episode one. <laughs> episode one. <laughs> <laughs> right when it says "Welcome to Oklahoma." Yeah. I'm not sure. Put the that. hazards on. Boom. Filming commences. Raj, where are you? <laughs> Raj is baked. <laughs> Camera work sucks. Show's horrible. Uh, that's good. Um, David Vonderhart left Activision. I see as one of the bullet points. Mm. The, the, the the shit that he did right for for our scene changed everything. Changed wow. everything. Changed everything. I remember the day he I was in. He was in the. He was in the weeds on the 360 icons forums asking people what they want and yeah. implement, really? implement it yeah. into the game. Yeah, he had a 360 icons account. We were yeah, he, he was like one of the only ones that could actually get shit done, it seemed like. Yeah. yeah. Well, we were sitting uh, at, at MLG something. We were watching Black Ops 1. He's sitting next to me, and then it's, I think, Ash and somebody else. Uh, and then he's like, he's like, he's like, how, how come everyone's spinning every single time they're diffusing the bomb? I'm like, oh, it's because it doesn't make any noise. He's like, oh, I'm like, don't fucking fix that. And then he's like, well, it shouldn't happen. And then no matter what happened, he would clap. He was like, look at that animation. <laughs> no matter what was happening on screen, he would be like, look at that animation. That's but, funny. Uh, I want to give a special thanks to David Von for for uh, yeah. for what he did for for Call of Duty Competitive from the beginning. Uh, 18 years and eight COD titles. Uh, we didn't start. We didn't. We didn't get off on the right foot. He and I. Really? Yeah. Because yeah, right. at the time, I was talking shit about how they ruined sniping uh, on on YouTube videos, but it was mostly because of the their social media manager at the time, or what the fuck. Uh, the, I don't want to say his name, but he, you know, because he was on his team, he wanted mm -hmm. to back him up. So they, we went to the Machinima. Uh, what are they called? IGAs? The Inside Gaming Awards? Yeah, IGAs. We were in LA. We were in one of those fucking hotels and the show's about to start. Who sits in front of me? Mark Lamia, David Von Hart, who I'd never met. Um, Jay Perrier, legendary fucking what a man. Uh, and then some other some other person. And, and then, Is that Big J? Yeah, Big J Perrier. Remember him? I think so. Of course you do, yeah. yeah. I, if I saw his face, I'd remember. Yes, yeah, big, big dude. Yeah, he's a big motherfucker. Super tall. And, uh, and, and uh, Hutch or... Jay or one of the dudes that I was sitting with, he's like, "Oh, that's David Vonderhaar," and I'm like, "I'm like, I'm like, I'm like hey, excuse me, uh, what's your name?" He's like, "I'm David, I'm David fucking Vonderhaar. Who the fuck are you?" Because he knew who I was, obviously, oh. <laughs> right? So he was, he wanted to fucking make his presence known, and I was like, I was like, "Relax, I come in peace for fuck's sake." He's like, "I'm sorry," I'm and I'm like, "I'm sorry." So that's where our relationship started. What a legend! And now his. What do you work on? Bo two, bo three, bo four. No, BO1. All of them. All of Treyarch. The Black Ops 1. 3 Black Ops 1. I'm sorry. War Call of Duty 3. World at War. Black Ops 1. Black Ops 2. 2. 2. BO3. BO4. Cold War. Cold, Cold War? War. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's a. That's. Yeah, no. The track record's all, good. Cause... Bro, this, he couldn't go anywhere without security. You yeah. know the crazy thing about all those games? No tax sprint on any of them. No tactical sprint? Yeah. Yeah, no tax sprint. Really also, to this day, okay? Kill streaks would have never, ever been in competitive gaming without him. Yeah. Without him standing his fucking ground and talking to all the pro players and saying, "Sit your ass down, watch how this thing goes." Yeah. And here comes fucking scumpy with his fucking plane and shooting this in the slums. Hunter killers were whack. They were whack. Hunter killers were extremely. Oh whack. no, they it's were. An, it's an wait, ass. is it? In, that's already oh, an incentive no. for off season two. No what. Hunter killers for one for map one and grand finals are allowed. Yeah. Hunter, oh, okay. Uh, but like lightning strikes and hellstorms were great, but hunter yeah. killers were so dumb. Just really? Guaranteed kill. It's what do you mean? It's a video game. It's fun. I don't know what you're talking about, man. Leave it to the big dogs, man. Okay. okay. <laughs> I don't know what the fuck you're talking I'll let you, about. I'll let you be. I can't say nothing. No, what am I gonna say? You're wrong. No, nah, the kill streaks were kill streaks were great. Besides hunter killer. Yeah. Yeah. RCXDs were a little, uh, but RCXDs like people love like Black Ops Three RCs. 
they're so fun when you yeah. get a kill with them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But like they were so cheese. <laughs> Yeah. You, just you can sit just there third person yeah, yeah, yeah. with the RZ. Yeah. What well, I, I mean, legendary creative himself, right? Like uh, he's a musician, uh, DJ himself. Obviously, uh, he's a race car driver. Like this dude is a is a man of many many skills. Yeah. So he will be missed. Um, I really hope that whoever takes over is Treyarch in this next COD title. Uh, don't aren't they making the zombies of the next title? Oh, MW3 I'm zombies. Sure. I know. They've been making zombies for the last like three games. I think they're doing zombies for this game, but they're like doing some crazy shit. But it's like open world zombies or some shit. Like I've twenty-four people. Zombies. That's insane. Really? Yeah, I I 24? think it's something like that. It's like six teams of four, and you're like what in a big hell? ass zombie map, something like that. I just ho I hope I that whoever that. takes over does all does care about competitive in some sense because we've been uh we've been somewhat. Uh, the past two years have been uh, not so great. Cold you War. You can't get fined anymore. Huh? Speak your truth, man. Oh, yeah. I mean, I've said it on my stream. They've been fucking awful. <laughs> <laughs> just, both last two games have just been miserable. <laughs> that laughs us at all. <laughs> Vanguard into MW2. Like, I'm surprised CDL's still kicking. How, are you, how serious are you guys about, <laughs> about competing, you and Zinni, for Optic Nation? Not Optic I mean, Nation. I'd but play. I'd play. I'd be down. Depending on the game, I might play. If it's if I love well, the game, just, you cannot. Well, yeah, no, like I'll scrim and shit. We could play together. I'll scrim and shit. <laughs> <laughs> like be us together. us getting on every day and scrimming. Like Hell yeah. the viewership would be insane. So it'd, be, you, it'd be great. Did I tell you we're doing that? Huh? We're loud. doing that. Yeah, I mean that'd be great. TST is like making a video like how good are pro players really type yeah, thing and we're yeah, gonna dedicate like that. dedicate Max like a month fire. i fuck with that yeah dedicate a month find a fourth and scrim and get a coach and play the first who, open who'll be your fourth uh it has to be that kid that you guys used to play idea. with that's fine like for the kickoffs nah. it's already like me pred shotzi and zin we already like made our team who who me zinny pred and shotzi for what for the like kickoffs like the creator kickoffs oh, yeah, yeah, yeah we're yeah. creators now <laughs> That's so oh, yeah. dumb, dude. That's so dumb. <laughs> so we're literally just going to have a pro team. Yeah. Basically. I mean, pro team, I know I'm not professional, wash, whatever. No, but I would, If I was you, I would never say that shit. Pro team. Ever. So dumb. I would never. So, but you to actually compete, you would go to like an event and... and... No, well, we can't. We, we have watch parties. No. Oh. We can't compete at the events. You can't compete at the events. At I all. I mean, it'd still be fun to like shame. Or... Yeah. You can play, I, the, I think you can play the Challengers is, Opens, yeah. right? Yeah, just bullshit and like I, I'm thinking about it. if I like the game, I will I'll heavily consider so it. But like, I don't know so if I'm gonna, gonna like, like the game. game. Using but, uh, but 150 health, MW2 maps. Yeah. How bad can it be? I'm scump. The, the kickoffs silence. are gonna the kickoffs are gonna be fun because like the kickoffs are gonna bang. We like the only time I watch and play Call of Duty. Like that's our like those are our map. Like me, Blake, and George. Oh like, yeah, we have the leg up. I've played those maps. Like I've I'm played all those these maps. new kids coming in. Yeah. I would be like, <laughs> like, I know like some. Well, the, obviously yeah. the pacing of the maps and everything's gonna change. Like nade spots are probably for different sure. and all yeah, that yeah. stuff. But like, but the little ratty corners for the, the, the little, little wall banks. I know what to check. I like, know what they're playing. I know where. I know they're mid hall in one of those two corners. Yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> Every everyone <laughs> on everyone knows those corners. Or they're snake and eskies. Like I. Yeah, the kickoffs could be dope. Everyone play those maps. If it's Cold War time to kill with slide like actual slide canceling and. We, MW2 dude, guns. We've I mean, never had go. we've never had Cold War time to kill in a non Treyarch title. Like you gotta think like Sledgehammer games and Infinity Ward games, everyone dies in a bullet every time. Yeah. Like there's never been a game that's that's Do you, you die super fast in MW3? In MW3? Or two? I never died on <laughs> Like this past fast. year? This past year it was do, right? yeah. ridiculous. Stupid fast. Like crazy fast. You could get you could get three bulleted to the head. And just that's where you shit. You don't remember whatever simp shotgun pred with on 10 HP in bottom orange, five five. Oh He's yeah, popping yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, literally just yeah. Low time to kill games are not it. Hey, question. Where's the skill gap? If, can I play <laughs> Advanced Warfare right now? Like, wow, have, what a game! If you no, no, not Advanced Warfare. Sorry, let me rephrase that. Modern Warfare you mastered. Yes. And there's people playing that shit right yeah. now. Yeah. Really. What mm -hmm. a game that was too. MWR, MWR on, you on can, a PC? You can still play it on PC. You can play on Steam. MWR is the only game on Steam. Well, MWR and Black Ops Three are the only game on Steam that have um, communities that have aim assist. 
that that like pre Brandon was telling me that Black Warfare. Ops Three you need like other stuff though, like anti like DS Four. Uh, like he says, the game like, feels weird it? if you don't like have other things. Uh, weird programs, has, like your controller like, and shit. has aim assist. But Brandon was like, "Don't play that shit. You're gonna hate it." And I was like, "Okay, I won't play." I wanted to be one of those where he's like, "Yo, you want to play a tournament?" I just turn on a PS5. That'd Dude, nice. those days were so much better. They're gone. They're gone. Think about that. Gone. Just gone. Just one day. Like, bro, I used to be one day. Von Hart put out a tweet. Xbox tournament, and we got to turn on the PS PS fours to go play another PS four two v two or something. <laughs> like switch consoles. Load up the mix amp. <laughs> Hit the button. Yeah. God, man, what a beautiful beautiful time. We were lucky. We shouldn't we shouldn't be complaining as well because we did experience the greatest. And 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 Hitch always puts it like it's like some of, some of the new people that are here like don't even know what those days were like oh my god oh my see god. i don't the thing is, is i don't even know i didn't i didn't play i didn't have any like money like when i was a like, kid to like i didn't ask my parents for money for any of this because i mostly hid it from them so i never even played the like days where the every S D tournament had 100 plus teams like i never even played in those like i know you guys talk about it all the time uh, the, those days weren't like i were there 100 teams in every S D? it was like nah, you wouldn't was, get 100 you get like, like 60 40 to 60 though that's still a lot of teams i mean that's a fuck ton of teams. I was say, like, sometimes it was you're there all day now it's like 62 six. Sometimes. yeah sometimes they were big i'm just, i guess i'm thinking like of like 2v2 the 32 like, like, like 16 when the it 2v2 dried out, ones, yeah. the itch dry out was like 2v2 30 something teams still or that's still like a great tournament yeah, yeah. like prizes were like 240 minimum each like 2v2 that's insane so like because now like i think pri i mean i think they're all are they all dead now? Is Game Battle still... Are they still... Doing I have RIP. Bro, they play for crumbs now. It's like... like all right, yeah. bro. See, we played for, for honor. Unless they're like wagering. Like, there's like a wager community, kind of, but like not really. There's yeah. like money eights and stuff. This is like wagers. Switcheroos. Yeah. That'll yeah. be like... That switcheroo shit is cool to me. So, the I new, think the switcheroos are when cool. When does the new uh, COD come out? November. November, November yeah. Oh, okay. the beta. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I did, I think I was I tripping yesterday. They said the beta is October sixth. Yeah, they said they said the uh, there's an a, a release event right Our, in our, early October. I think the, I think they Show said that online. I don't know, dude. The fact that there's yeah, dead silence and red dots. Yeah, there it is. October sixth through seven. Yeah. October eighth through ten. PlayStation sixth and seventh. Ah, uh, here we go with this again. Yeah, yeah. I will be live. <laughs> gotta get the PS5 Shit. fired up. Yeah, gotta get. Yeah, it's I'll gonna be, be not Arizona. the best experience. Seth has to go buy a PlayStation Five finally. Nah. What? I have yours. No, I need it. Uh, what the fuck am I gonna play? You got huh. two, right? Yeah, but tough luck, lives. pal. Tough Damn. luck, pal. tough luck, buddy. <laughs> Dude, I know where you live. I know the code to get in here. <laughs> <laughs> I'm taking more than that PlayStation 5 if that's how we're playing. Until yeah. uh, <laughs> you get met with some... That's right. Yeah, never mind. Repercussions. That's right. That's right. I don't want to get punched in the head. Um, well, congratulations to David Von Der Exemplary yeah. career. Uh, looking forward to see what he does next, man. I know it's going to be big, so I'm here. To, to watch his, uh, his new ascendance. Let's take a quick commercial break. Let's say hello to the sponsors right. and then we'll be right back. Part of the interruption, everybody, I want to give a quick shout out to the sponsors. The first one is Rocket Money. If you are like me who have uh, several TVs, Apple TVs or systems in which you can download applications, more often than not, you don't know which subscription you're paying anywhere, right? Uh, there was this one time when Jude had her own uh, Hulu account and I had my own Hulu account and we're like, what are we doing? So Rocket Money essentially finds double subscriptions that you pay. Sometimes you sign up for Showtime through uh, Prime TV, but you also have the Showtime application in which you paid. So there's many different instances in which you are paying double the money and Rocket Money helps you find that because if you feel like your subscriptions are draining your wallet, the average person, just so you know, the average person has around 12 paid subscriptions and they might not even remember subscribing to half of those. So if you have no idea how much you're spending each month, you need Rocket Money. It is a great application that tracks all of your expenses so you know exactly where your money is going. Uh, this blew my mind when I found out. I'm not even kidding, right? But did you know that over 80% of the people who, uh, who have subscriptions, they've forgotten about? Like for real. Think of how many uh, free trials that you've subscribed to that automatically renew and you never ever cancel. That's why I'm such a big fan of Rocket Money personally. Rocket Money is a personal finance app that finds you 
finds and cancels your unwanted subscriptions, monitors your spending, and helps you lower your bills all in one place. Most people they think they think they're spending around eighty dollars in subscriptions a month, when in reality the number is closer to two hundred dollars. When you're signing up for so many things like live streaming services you used to watch one show on, or free tri free trials or delivery, like my subscription to Showtime was only because of the show Billions. And Wu Tang's uh, Mice of Men. But that's a different story. Rocket Money can help you even negotiate to lower your bills for you by up to 20%. All you have to do is take a picture of your bill, and Rocket Money takes care of the rest. Stop wasting your money on things you don't use. Cancel your unwanted subscriptions and manage your money the easy way by going to rocketmoney.com slash optic. That is R-O-C-K-E-T-M-O-N-E-Y.com slash O-P-T-I-C. Make sure it's all capitals. Uh, but better yet, I'm going to leave a link in the description down below for you guys to be able to uh, just click on that and go save some money. So again, that's rocketmoney.com slash optic to cancel your unwanted subscriptions. This next one I'm very, very excited about because it's something, something that we've always uh, believed in, worked on, and will continue to work on. And that is the General Plus, the Wallace Warrior Classic uh, by USAA. Uh, Optic is dedicated to giving back to the current U.S. military members and veterans by teaming with USAA to create a new program within Optic Nation. The Wallace Warriors is an exclusive to U.S. military members and veterans. Uh, Wallace Warrior Programs gives you free Optic Nation gold membership along the opportunity to receive a Founders Coin, which is super, super sick. Uh, entry into winning two online Call of Duty tournaments ho hosted by us with a $5,000 prize pool, exclusive benefits to live events just for Wallace Warriors, and exclusive Discord channel within the Optic Discord just for the Warriors. Uh, visit our website to sign up, optic.link slash www. We'll put it in the description to make it super easy. So if you're a serviceman or woman, uh, do click on that and see if your uh, government ID and status uh, with ID me. Uh, wait for confirmation, email, and then you get your free Optic Nation Gold membership. Also, be sure to sign up to the free $5,000 COD tournament happening on September 16th. This is a completely free event made just for the Wallace Warriors members, a 4v4 online S&D tournament, and one person per team needs to be a Wallace Warrior. So grab three friends and gear up for the uh, for the tournament at optic.link slash wwclassic. If you're not sure what Optic Nation is, let me just spend a little time here with me. Come in closer. Optic Nation is the home of the most dedicated members of the Green Wall. The gathering place of our most dedicated members. It's the official membership program of the Green Wall. Optic Nation offers members exclusive access to Optic content, merchandise, first access to live events, and uh, more. Much, much more. I've been, I've, been, I've been thinking about those since 2016. Okay? It didn't look like this because now it's a more evolved project that we're working on it's uh it's one of the most exciting things i have personally going on in my life as a creator so i do appreciate it, uh, everybody that supports this if you go to nation.opticgaming.com that's nation.opticgaming.com to get access to everything optic and join the most dedicated members of the green wall ladies and gentlemen last but not least we have dairy max uh it's time to level up your game day experience one night at optic night at global field with the texas rangers is coming up september 4th that is two mondays uh from where we sit today if you watch the texas rangers kick off their series against the houston astros you can score big with a sweet treat swing by the blue uh bell ice cream stands get served in an optic rangers gaming souvenir battling helmet as you guys can see right here after you wash it out of course, pack this in your suitcase, add it to your collection, make sure that you uh, are there. Um, Big Bell ice cream stands across the night will be serving the scoops on Optic Rangers uh, souvenir. Available starting at Optic Night. Catch all the action and satisfies your cravings in style. Let's go Rangers. Let's go Optic. Let's have fun out there. It's going to be hot, so make sure you get your ice cream. So thank you again to the sponsors. Um, we have Halo Fort Worth coming next. Can I tell you guys, listen, I'm going to be traveling a lot, okay? So please try to hold the fort down. Where are you going now? Dude, it is. I, I just get signed up for shit now. Where are you, you, know you on the Rocket League? Listen. I, 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 Saudi? I will play I, a hate. I'm going to Saudi Arabia? I'll play a hate. What, are you coming? <laughs> if you're going to the Rocket League shit, are you? No. Oh, uh, I, I wanted to, but my schedule didn't allow for it. Why? I was going to say I would have been playing. Would you have, would you have gone? Hell yeah. You can't smoke over there. 
I'm sober over there. I don't need it. I'm high off life over there. <laughs> <laughs> Dude. That's yeah, like, you can find paper everywhere. It's like, oh, this is a million dollars. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so we have uh, Halo Fort Worth this weekend. I'll right? be the first home next weekend. Saudi next weekend, the following, not this weekend, the following. This weekend, weekend. Oh, Saudi. God. This weekend, Saudi for the Rocket League team. Next weekend's Fort Worth. So next weekend, I we do the watch party on Friday. On nope. sa- no watch party. I probably won't do it on Friday. Okay, cool. Fuck, even better. Well, oh, so, are we going there? I listen. I, I get signed up for shit. Okay, I don't. We have a lot of work, a lot of people that help now, so I don't have to be in tune with everything. Yeah, I don't know if we're going. We'll see. So Saturday, I, I've been trying to get out of this fucking football fantasy football league for at least five years. I don't know anything about. I don't watch football like that no more. So I don't know. I'm just whatever. So I have to go to my fantasy football with with my friends Saturday. Come back Sunday in Chicago. Yeah, Saturday. Yeah, one of those backyard things you be doing. Yeah, right? hell yeah, it's old school fire shit. Um, Friday. So Saturday, Chicago, come back Sunday, baseball, uh, the baseball thing on September 4th, which is Monday. Yep. Tuesday, I'm back in Chicago for 10 days to do. That's at like 3 p.m., right? Yeah. Oh, shit, for real? Yeah, yeah it's, it's not a hot. night game. Oh, Isn't it a dome? Oh, sweet. Can't they close it? And they, Oh, yeah, you're right, you're right, you're right. Yeah, they do. They are closed. I'm so dumb. Right? Love that brain. Yeah, that brain's so good sometimes when it works. Um, and then Thank you. we come back. We, we got the Drake concert. Oh, Thursday, shit. the fourteenth. That's, that's next Thursday. No, that's 14th. two Thursdays. Two Thursdays. Two Thursdays. I come back. June and June and I go to that with with everyone. I can't wait. Oh, you guys are coming. Yeah. yeah. And then I'll be up there bullshit. shaking ass. And then the following day, June and I fly back to Chicago to go to the to the Chicago Theater Pesa Pluma concert. Oh, damn, yo, bro. Ooh, yo, bro, bro, bro. How many times y'all gotta see yo? It's, fu- it's, fu- it's a <laughs> yeah. fire ass concert. Yeah, it's just like the fourth time. It, it, I might this this yeah, on tour with him. Yeah, <laughs> we're roadies. This 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 uh this Friday or I'm sorry this Saturday I might go to Houston to watch uh, Fuerza Regida. That's um, been on been on our on our this this era of our marriage is called going to concerts. Hey, that's live it up. Shit sounds shit. fun, right? It's fun. That sounds fuck fun. yeah. Sounds like a great time. You get to go to Chicago. Hell good yeah. Good concert. Good food. Hometown. It's gonna be so sick, man. I can't wait. When Alexis was here, we went to a a a, 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 a candle lit quartet concert, uh, like downtown or over by the airport. What's a quartet? Uh, like four instruments, like uh-huh. uh, strings, and they were playing Metallica music. So oh. like, dun, 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 dun. and I, <laughs> we were all like, <laughs> we had our, we had our, wine, our wine glasses and stuff. Just <laughs> hell dun, yeah, dun, dun, just bobbing. It was fun. Yeah, it was fun. I like it. Seth's going on vacation for, I mean, four days. Please, man, just take, do me a favor. Do us all a favor. Go for two weeks, man. Just experience what it's like to not think about yeah. work for two weeks for yourself, man. Yeah, go for two no, weeks. No, then they call man. me part timer, man. No, Who cares? go for two weeks. They'll understand. And put your put your stream on no, like No, they auto. won't, dude. You've been, you're like, you you've never ever ever had a break in all your life. You've never been on spring Let's break. Go to a squad deep. Go back Carmel. to Carmel Valley. Hell yeah! Listen, I'm taking shit? I'm taking a nice four days. Shit, right? I, I'm I'm, I'm all, you know me. I'm calculated. Four days, come back, insta start streaming again. It's like I never left. But you should leave though. You should feel like he left. Hey, <laughs> you went away. Yeah, dude. But yeah. no, put your favor. stream on auto host and just go, man. No, man. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever happens, happens. But it's only started at like nine p.m. <laughs> nah, I, I can't. I can't leave the stream for that long because like nowadays, like the stream is like my, I mean, main work at this point. So yeah. it's like, I just find it incredibly sad that you retire gotta, and you don't, you go back to work. You retire to work harder. Come on. Come do on. Your, now. Do yourself a favor, man. <laughs> All in favor of Seth taking a two week vacation with no work. I can already see the part timers. Well, there I can already see. I mean, I'm I, I'm scarred. Just, I was like, hey, I, I told my stream right yesterday. Now. I was like, hey guys, I'm going to see my mom. I haven't seen her in a while. Going on vacation. You know, gonna go see her in Florida at, at the condo. Have a good time. They're like part timer. I knew you part timer. I was like, Jesus. Yeah, right. There was everyone was spamming no, W. No. No. <laughs> what, no. War timer. No. War timer. War to timer. <laughs> and there has not been a single month that I've been retired that I have not streamed more than 100 hours. Mm. <sighs> there hasn't been a single one. But you hear that, Twitch? 100 hours a month. This guy. 
full timer. What are you gonna do on top well, of content here? Well, for free, mind you. Okay, like all pro bono. I'm um, not. I'm not complaining. I'm just. I. I you know. I'm just, I'm just, <laughs> yo, are you so, so? In Florida, it's not hurricane season, right? And I think like it switched coasts for this summer for some reason. Oh yeah, yeah. it's one of uh, California. Right? California better not fucking California storm got a, uh, a. Hold hurricane. on, let me look at the weather. <laughs> you didn't look at it ahead of time. Oh, I did, but it changes like all the time. It, it was Hurricane Abney is on its way. Uh, <laughs> wait, where? Which part in Florida? Uh, Clearwater Beach. Oh, that's where Ooh. they said it's going. <laughs> 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 that's that's like episode. What is crazy though is that. I mean, we're not going to talk about any conspiracies around Hawaii, okay? We're not going to oh, do yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're not going to do that. Let's refrain, you know? But the fact that a tornado and then a 5.1 fucking earthquake hits them, it's crazy. So it's 93 cloud with, like, overcast, 93 with overcast, 92 straight sun, and then Sunday, 93 with overcast. What's those spinning clouds to the left of that? <laughs> the, the, what, what, what do those mean? Well, next week, it's supposed to start raining. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, well, I'm happy that you're taking when is the at least a break. weather break here. Huh. Not until Dog. September. Dog. Just it's remember, last year we had 31 or 36 consecutive days in triple digits. Yep. Okay. Yeah. I, mean, I don't know. Great. This year's he is crazy, Different. son. It's 113. It's Yo, hot. That day was I feel crazy. like last year it was a consistent like 101, 102. Yeah. Now it's like it'll be 97 and then it'll be 107 mm -hmm. and then like. I got into my car the other day. It said 111. Yeah. 111. You made a wish. Make it cold. <laughs> Just please. Here it is. This is eight, uh, August 23. What was uh, August 22? Dude, what? That is stupid. August 22. There you go. View. Okay. Oh, there's a 99 in there. There's an 87 in oh, there. Wow, okay, keep going down. Keep great. going down. Yeah, because it'll show you the... Oh, what's the next month? Into September. September? No, I think it was July no, last year. Got cold. View, crazy, quick view. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it starts to cool down in September. September. But it's not until October, November. God, I least. can't wait for football, man. Fuck! Same. Uh, college yeah. college football starting. Does it start like next week? Yeah, it's starting next week. What's September looking like? I had a dream man. about college football last night. I didn't think about that. Dude, I can't. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah see, we there we that. go. Yeah. 80s? We can work, yeah, we can work with the 80s. Low I can start 60s. running again. I can't fucking run, dog. Two days. That's why I haven't been running either. <laughs> Wait, oh, this is We're okay. Back. I thought it's an August. Going in the the house at these Are you taking the dog with you when you go uh, jogging? Nah. Well, when it cools huh? off? Maybe crazy outside. they they won't they won't jog long distance. Oh, like they they sprint and that's it. I like that. It's zero or one hundred. I like it because that's that's how I operate. <laughs> you just sprint. <laughs> I go from my room to the kitchen and then uh, and then I take a nap. I wonder where the dog <laughs> is right now. Huh? He's in the. Lefolds. Room in Roger's office, Lefolds. taking more shits, taking a shit in Roger's <laughs> office, taking more shits. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> what we just want to do in the podcast? You you want to know what happened there? What I'm happened? like I'm gonna see if I don't say anything if we can carry this <laughs> through. <laughs> well, last time I, mean, I last time can. I brought up something you you like shut me down. So I was well, like, no, no, yeah, what, what was be it? Careful. It was something about. It was you want something. me to start facilitating? Hell yeah! No, what, what, it was something about what? It was something about the oh, it was idiots, and you were like, "Not let's not break flow state. Find the clip." No, the no, 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 I don't remember that. Yeah. So I was like, "All right, I'm, I'm gonna let where him." Do you rock. Think, where do you think? Where do you think? I'll start facilitating. You, you were in flow state. It's usually your thing. I let you do. You know, I let you have this one. Let you have this. Thank you. Appreciate that. Of course. All right, so somebody take it on. All right, starting right. from right now. YouTuber ruin. <laughs> <laughs> no, I actually have you heard about this Mr. Beast thing? No. So he has the uh, the past three three uh, uploads that he's had have all been one out of tens for his channel for, him? for his channel, and a one out of ten on his channel means it's that insane. it's the number one most viewed video on YouTube, all of YouTube, because he keeps breaking his own record, and his record broke all of YouTube's record. So yeah, he got. Uh, 40 million, 47 million, 49 million, then 52 million. 59. Every country on earth f fee. Fight. They had, they had oh, people fight. fight. 250,000? That is, is. This is like backyard fights? Stupid. Yeah, that's, that's ridiculous. Insane. That is stupid. <laughs> that seven day strain at a C video, that's the only one I think I've watched. Jesus Christ. So he's one of the most famous people on earth. 
Yeah. Earth. No, no, no. He's, he's, he said, he said he can't go out in public anymore. Like it's, he, he, I, I, I believe that dude. He went to, he, I saw an interview with him and calling us mirror. And he talked about how before he went to Antarctica for that video, he had to stop somewhere. I forgot where, do you remember where I'm at? He had to stop somewhere in some other Island, uh, to, to prep, to go to Antarctica. And he only said hi to one person in the airport because he had his whole face covered and somebody recognized him. And he only said hi to one person, and autographed one thing, and then went to his hotel. And by the time he got, he was going to leave his hotel, there were like a thousand people outside chanting his name, asking for money, basically. <laughs> yeah. like, that, isn't that fucking great? Because he's like known as the money guy now. So like yeah. people just want money. It's a good thing to be known as. <laughs> yeah. It's like, and so he was like, so when I go out now, I can't say hi to people. I can't talk to people because if I talk to people, that's just going to encourage like that question. To come, like, like somebody's going to text their hey, friend and they're going to put it on their Instagram things? story. Then they're and, and money, money, bam, bam, oh, yeah. like money. It's just, cr it's I just gave, crazy. I gave 1000 people outside my hotel room, a hundred dollars each. Yeah. Dude, it's like. People are just going to, I mean, it's the same thing happened with David Dobrik where people are like, I'm in your vlog. Can I have a Tesla? And it's like, oh yeah. Like that's just what's going to happen. Like if that's what you're known for giving away shit, like people are when just going to LA. I kept driving by his uh, pizza restaurant, Dobrik's or whatever. Dobrik's. 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 Looks good. Did you go? No, I, I was always, every time I drove by, I was like, what happened? What there? happened with him? He just stopped up on him no, because I remember he got semi canceled. Or yeah. Canceled? He, well, he got canceled, but then he, he came back for like six months. Is that the crane thing? What happened to him? Because I remember he got canceled and then he came back for like six months and was uploading uh, and then just completely stopped uploading. Apparently he's doing stuff on Snapchat now. <laughs> Apparently a lot of people are doing a bunch of stuff on Snapchat. <laughs> Why do you say it like that? Yeah, because I because Snapchat's popping right now. Yeah, apparently Snapchat's like stupid popping. Is it? Too, yeah, really? yeah, you should you should get on that side. That's what I've that's what I've heard. Let's. You want to do this really? together? Apparently, it's I like got 40, the thousand. Do you? Yeah, I don't. I, I don't even you know what start uploading. Really? Yeah, because apparently stories. it's like short. I don't. I don't know. It's I've like been 45 on five stories a day. It's like shorts for a minimum. Minimum. Yeah, six grand a night. You still oh, have it? You still have that. it on your phone? I'll be like. Yes, I still have right. it on my phone. You should check, see what, see, look up like David Dobrik and see like what his story and shit looks like. I, cause I, I don't know. I haven't watched anything from him and since he stopped uploading. But apparently, like Snapchat's Snapchat. I don't even know how the fuck you use it. How do you CPMs know how many people follow you and shit? Are crazy. Really? That's what I've heard. Like more people are making money off Snapchat than TikTok. Well, I'm about to post a story right now. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Let me see. Yeah. I, mean, I don't see it. I, uh, I, I mean, I don't know. I I could be lying, but snap. I, don't know how I use this. I've never used it. it I looks, used it for a little he posted bit. Posted Celsius. Uh, he's just like posting a whole bunch of random shit. Just a bunch of random stuff. Yeah. Oh, that look, look, look! How many stories? Where, where? What do you see? I, like, Matt's just going through it right now. Oh, just different Someone pictures. Hit, uh, David Dobrik and tell him how much he's ask him how much he's making off this shit. Let's talk business. <laughs> like look he's just posting stories and that's what he does now what the fuck just pictures pay me i mean if if he's making enough to where he doesn't have to post youtube videos anymore yeah, yeah. and he was getting like six million views a video like he must be making a lot of money yeah good on for him. snapchat i mean i don't i mean i don't i don't know i don't know the situation i jesus like, i don't know the article or none of that but yeah i never like i i try to not i just don't see how you monetize it you know what you know what shit like you know what i'm saying i think they should make a documentary they should make a documentary about this somebody will eventually is what happened to jenna marbles i think about that all the time oh shit she had dogs like you but smaller ones. Oh yeah, the little Wait, Italian grand. Like MIA now, like, yeah. One day she was like, you know, I made I'm, enough. I'm done. Good. Because somebody was like, they, 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 they were doing what they were doing to everybody and going through past videos and trying to cancel people for different things. Yeah. So they, they hit her. They were like, hey, you made this where you acted like Nicki Minaj and you put tan on your face, so that's blackface, and like went through a bunch of, like a bunch of different things like that. And so she made a video. It was like, hey, like. I'm done with this and hasn't uploaded since. That was three years ago. Good for her. I mean, yeah, she's good. Right? She never, no, she's just not on social media. You know, people, people don't do that often enough. No yeah, one does I, that. Yeah, I agree. Dog, nobody does are that. Are we, are we going to be smart enough to do 
I will not. Do I just that, love no. doing this. I do like. Yeah, I just I just enjoy this. Yeah. a lot. Yeah, there's yeah. A, there's also a guy that I don't even know who he was, but he said I, I heard a podcast. Um, somebody talk about him. He, was, he said he was going to make YouTube videos until he was done with college, and then as soon as he got done with college, he was going to stop. And during that time, he blew up, got like 10 million followers or 10 million subs. And sure enough, as soon as he got done, as soon as he graduated, stopped uploading, completely stopped. Do you know who I'm talking about, Matt? <laughs> I mean, he just, said it. Just, he, he just kept his word. He's, He's like, like, all right, that's it. I'm, now I'm going about life. That was a fun chapter. I'm like, fun chapter? People would kill for that. I want to be here talking shit to some of your grandkids soon enough. Yeah, that's, an, that's crazy. It's an old man. I mean, you got that's you know you got to be if you know what you if you know what you want in life you know it's. I hope. Like, you know fuck. who had a really good career pivot? Fucking T Martin. He Insane. he's like he's like as soon as the 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 CS shit went went on he's just like you know what he made, he just started doing fucking. Caribbean cruises videos. Yeah, but his does he still upload on his gameplay channel? I don't know. Let me see, Matt. Dude, his gameplay channel at one point was just like Big nine game. videos a day. Oh, just yeah, something T-Martin. insane. Yeah. And they were getting like 30k views. T Martin to 18 hours ago. Yeah. Nah, he's still going. Just oh, yeah, I mean, and it's and, and, and it's goated. and his views, dude. 67, 60 go goats. down. Nah, but if you add that all up, 115, 95. I mean, dude. Nah, if you add those yeah, all yeah, up, of course, like, of course. <sighs> What's he, let's there, let's yeah. look at that uh, social blade, Matt. Damn. Well, let's let's look at Trev and Chels first. Yeah, and videos. He, and now he just he's partnered with Caribbean Cruise and just goes on. Look cruises. how many subscribers though. Where? Damn. Damn. Yeah, just yeah. traveling the world. Yeah, Hex and that's Jude the, go to concerts. That's the that, which concerts? The same one. There you go. <laughs> the same one <laughs> all the time. Yeah, Peso Pluma City one. They're on tour with Peso Pluma. <laughs> I was uh, <laughs> I'll tell you guys this off screen. Better be in it. All right, sure. What's, what's this looking at? Yeah, I mean, what's what's what am I looking at? Now we need to go back to see. Now we need to swing back and see how many minutes them things are. <laughs> <laughs> so we can get down to the real nitty gritty numbers. <laughs> oh man, that's insane. Um, the best optic jersey of all time. What the fuck are we talking about? Yeah, let's see. Let's see it, man. What's 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 this? Oh, oh people. people. Yeah. Those those the X Games ones were fire. People are gonna love that the 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 pink ones. Which was your favorite, Seth? You wore them. Uh out of those four? No, just in, in your in entire general, career. Those. Those are fire. Yeah, those go stupid. Yeah, those stupid are hard. hard. Bring those back. Yeah, the X, those, X, those are the X Games one, right? Yeah, those are those are, those are crazy. X, X Games 2. Yeah, those yep. shits are fire. <clears throat> you watch the UFC fight? Nah. I don't, I, bro, I'm telling you, I don't watch anything anymore. For Nothing. I don't what do y'all think about this whole like uh, Logan Dylan? Oh, Danish yeah, that shit. stuff. I don't even know what the hell's going yeah. on. What the fuck? I just Logan hate Dylan? how it's like. I know the fight's real, but I hate how the WWE bullshit. Like in the beginning. Like, Wait, what, they, what are we talking? Who's Dylan? Dylan what? Dylan Dennis is like a, a MMA fighter that's boxing Logan Paul. Uh huh. And dog the the prep for this fight is crazy. What like, do you mean the prep? Click he, on that, Matt. I'm uh, yeah. I'm he's lo- posting just, Logan Paul's fiance. Oh shit. I didn't even know you had it up here. Yeah, he's literally like just going like Dylan Danis is just going in on Logan's fiance. Like just t- that's all he's talking shit about is just his fiance, all his all her ex boyfriends, like uh, every guy she's like been with, and <laughs> yeah, that's her. And that's her. Is and that Leo? Uh, Leo, I mean, he's wild. <laughs> yeah, this stuff. I mean, it's all I see. Yeah, yeah, it's I all haven't like, seen any of this. It's, it's his whole he, Twitter. He's not seen this. any of his this. entire social media is pictures of her. Is I think it's I think it's the only time a Paul brother has fought where I'm like, I kind of want the fucking Paul brother to win. Like, because you know when they first came in, you're just you're cheering them against now. them because <laughs> they're all talking shit and they're like acting like they're fighters, but yeah. they're YouTubers. Yeah. Now they're actually fighters. Yeah. And this guy is like out. 
shit talk or out like scumbagging a Paul brother, which didn't I didn't even think was fucking possible, yeah. but it's happening. And so I'm just like, damn, like I kind of want him to get like you don't talk about a dude's girl. I feel I like think. that's off limits, but it's I guess, a, you know, it's, it's, it's not, I'm not, a, I'm not a boxer, so I don't know. It's as, it's as old as time can be, man. No women or children. They're, they're selling that fight. Oh yeah. People uh, are going to watch that. You know what I'm saying? They're doing a good, well, he's doing a good job at selling it. Shit, dog. I mean, former do, optic but, alum, Mr. What were you going to say? Sugar Sean. Yeah. He's, yeah. That's he's dope. Fucking he's crazy shit out of people. Out. Yeah. He's just, he's just a fucking, one of the best strikers ever. I mean, dog. What? Fucking mega fast. What are we watching, man? I mean, I don't know about these, these, but it's just the first one. It's fucking mega quick right that hook. Right here comes that right hand. Right here, watch. It's a left. Wow, Damn. God. Yeah, at what point do you call it? 17 hits to the face? Right. <laughs> you know, like I was just. Yeah, just wow. over, you over, imagine? Over, over. Look at him, man. Nah, he like, looks we like. We were a, sitting next to somebody like, who could murder you if you wanted he's to. He's just a with fucking his hands. warrior. It's just you wouldn't even know where to begin. <laughs> Seth was one v oneing a Make a Wish guy, and Sugar Sean's behind him, like, like I'll, I'll, in the hex quarters. You remember that? We we uh, we did a Make a Wish thing at the hex quarters. Okay, and it was myself, uh, Nick. We're standing back, and then uh, Krim, Zen, and Seth are like taking turns one v oneing the the guy, and then Sugar Sean's also there because it was like his first. Yeah. yeah. And he's there with his like agent. And so Nick and I are looking at him and like, he'll sit there and like, he'll just fucking like have these twitches. He'll just like do this. Yeah. And Nick and I are like, yo, he wants to fuck somebody up right now. Yeah, like yeah. right now. That's what he's thinking he about. Wish he could punch something like baseball players. will sit there and they'll, you know, he'll just do like this, like this, like he's fucking he's just, <laughs> just locked, <laughs> ready, <laughs> ready, just ready at any moment's notice. Somebody's going to how much up. Seth to go one round octagon against sugar Sean. I mean, I'm going to get knocked out. But so. if you win, you get 10 times the prize pool. Five. You... <laughs> <laughs> what? I love that. That's good. To go get knocked out five. Yeah. You kidding me? Money? Huh. How much? <laughs> to, to get into a, yeah, to the ring with Shoe Sean. For one round? As long as you can last, motherfucker. Every round that you get out alive on, it increases by five mil. Shit. Let's I'm bang. Running. <laughs> get it on. <laughs> I mean, I'll survive as many as I can. I mean, circle at first round, you know what I'm saying? Dude. Try to not get knocked out. Second round, I'll maybe try a little bit. Try Third a round, little bit? get them on the if ground. you start trying, you're done. Why'd you leave out? Imagine. Why'd you not? Oh, you have him on a headlock right now. <laughs> you have him on a headlock right there? He has Why'd him in a headlock. Why'd you leave How'd you, how'd you, how'd you, how'd you, how'd you even get that close to him? I got up on him by right Bro, he's three. got a long ass reach. That's not what happened when he tried to get him close to him. Uh, I don't know. Oh, that's good. I'll, I'll probably do five, too. Damn. Bro, he's just so fast. Fuck oh, I mean, if it's one round, hopefully he, like, Looks at me, he's like, I'm not knocking this. You'd be like, like, yo, we were an optic. Dude. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, ladies and gentlemen, I hope that you guys enjoyed this episode of the podcast. Thank you so much to our sponsors for sponsoring this podcast. And we'll see you guys next week. Peace.